filmed at Children's Museum Houston in front of a live studio audience. Welcome to... Hey, you said this was Tuna Natal versus Octodile in 3D. Hello, my name is Jacob and welcome to Mind Your Matter, the only game show that matters. Let's meet our contestants. Tied in first with 12 and a half points is contestant number one, Anna Williams, a fifth grade science student from Mindelev Elementary. Hello, everyone. Also tied in first with 12 and a half points is contestant number two, Mikey Gomez, a sixth grade student from Rosalind Franklin Middle School. Glad to be back. And last is contestant number three, Philistine, who has promised not to break anything today. Get ready to be dazzled. Okay then, let's spin the Wheel of Science. Today's scientific challenge is... Conductors and Insulators. Contestants, this challenge has to do with electricity. Your task is to find a material that will conduct electricity so you can light up this light bulb. We'll be right back after this break to see what they create. Welcome to Wacky Spiders Electric Circuit Emporium. Our circuits flow from a source, like a battery, to a load, like a light, and then back to the battery. We use only the finest conductors to make sure electricity flows completely through the completed circuit. And we always cover our circuits with the best insulating materials to block electricity from leaving the circuit. No electricity gets through our insulators. So come on down to Wacky Spiders Electric Circuit Emporium, where our prices are shocking. Welcome back. We're about to see what our contestants, even Phyllis, have made. Just a reminder, while Mind Your Matter encourages you to do scientific experiments at home, you should always have a responsible adult, not Phyllis, help you stay safe. I have feelings, you know. Anna, we'll start with you. For my challenge, I've built a conductivity tester. I can use it to find out what materials are conductors and allow electricity to flow through them, and what are insulators which block electricity. When I put anything between the two alligator clips, the electricity will attempt to flow through it. If it is a conductor, the electricity will flow and the light bulb will light up. If it is an insulator, the electricity will be blocked and the bulb will not light up. If I touch the wires to the plastic spoon, the light stays off. That tells me the plastic is an insulator. The same is true when I touch the leads to the wooden spoon. That tells me the wooden spoon is also an insulator. Now, when I use the metal spoon, my light turns on. The metal spoon acts just like metal wires and conducts electricity, allowing it to flow through the circuit and light up the light bulb. Excellent work. Plastic and wood are insulators, while most metals are good conductors. And those were some very helpful definitions. So that's two points for you this round, Anna, bringing your total to 14 and a half points. Mikey, on to you. What have you got for us today? As Anna demonstrated, metal is a conductor, while plastic and wood are insulators. So I wondered what liquids might be conductors. I also made a conductivity texture with alligator clips that I can dip into a liquid. In this first glass, I have pure water. When I dip it in my tester, it doesn't light up. So it's an insulator. But I read somewhere that if lightning hits the ocean, it can electrocute fish. So I added salt to the water and here, sure enough, it can conduct electricity. The salt mixed with the water makes it a conductor. And I remember we made batteries out of lemons in fourth grade. Lemon juice is a water with citric acid and some vitamins and minerals. When I test it, it also is a conductor. The citric acid mixed with the water makes it a conductor. Congratulations, Mikey, an excellent demonstration. That's two points for you, bringing your total to 14 and a half. And now on to Phyllis. Phyllis, what do you have? Thank you, but first, I have a joke for you. We really don't have time. How many circus performers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know, how many? Four, one to change the light bulb, and three to go, ta-da! Okay, look, all you have to do is turn on a light. In fact, here, I have a pre-built circuit for you. All you have to do is flip the switch, which is a conductor, and we'll close and complete the circuit, lighting the bulb, okay? No fuss. 
no must, no injuries. I'll give you full points if you just flip the switch. No need. I have already built my own device. Oh, no. You see, I have discovered that materials that are good electrical conductors are also good thermal energy conductors. So I just need to use my energy transmogrifier to convert thermal energy into electrical energy. Phyllis, that looks a little terrifying. Yes, thank you. It is brilliant. Now, I simply need to place this tube over the bulb, and when I flip the switch, it will subject it to 2,000 degrees of heat. Stop, stop, stop. Please, no, no, no. Before you burn down the studio, this is not how energy transformation works. That's not even how electricity works. You don't even have a circuit, Phyllis. You need a complete circuit. You don't have a path or a loop for the electricity to flow through. Hmm. Maybe if I add a hula hoop? That's plastic. Uh -huh. It's an insulator. How about now? Still zero. Oh, folks, I am no longer surprised that Philistine continues to ignore the scientific process, and so she is still in last place with zero points, and therefore today's game goes to Anna and Mikey, tied in first with 14 and a half points each. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, boy. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time on... My Matters. Yeah, you go, Octodile. You start that tuna NATO. Ah!